Dear people of Moreton Bay Region, my name is Ryan Nelson and I will be nominating as a candidate in the upcoming Moreton Bay Region Council elections on March 28th. I'll be nominating for Division 6 uh, on the Redcliffe Peninsula, which covers Margate, Clontarf, Kippering, Woody Point and Redcliffe. So if you're in those areas, I'll be looking for your vote. Now, I've been here 15 years uh, on the peninsula. I absolutely love it, particularly Division 6. Uh, I have had my own business here for 15, or for 15 years primarily. I've had a couple of little options in that, but I'll tell you about that in a second. Uh, and I've always done my best in the community to combine everyone and do my very best to make it both the best place for lifestyle and for business. Now, I have done a few things during that time. I've been a commercial real estate agent. I have been Peninsula uh, Chamber of Commerce president for nearly four years, which I'm very proud of, and we did some good work in. And I've also run an organisation called Tribe Social Belonging, which is a social enterprise aimed around limiting isolation and loneliness in our community. I would like to continue these things, but I'll tell you what my things I'd like to attack if I'm good enough, if I'm lucky enough to get into to elect to the council because of your vote. Firstly. I want to continue to look into our community and see how we can build bigger bonds, better bonds with each other. We used to do this stuff. We used to look after each other. We used to check on our neighbours. We used to catch up for coffees with people that we knew. And we don't do it so much anymore. It's not just here on the peninsula, it's worldwide. But we're a great little community here and I'm sure we could do that better. We've shown that through Tribe. I want to continue doing that. And Tribe will continue, even if I get in. Secondly, employment is a massive issue in this area. It's ridiculous. Our employment, unemployment level, sorry, is approximately 8.9% at the moment. 8.9% of our people that are employable do not have jobs. Australia is about 5.3%. So the country's at 5.3, we're at 8.9. We live on a beautiful waterfront. We are 25 minutes from the major airport in the state. We're about 45 minutes from the capital here. Why is that so? Why are so many of our people unemployed? I'll give you some reasons or some suggestions on how we can fix that very shortly. Secondly, or thirdly, sorry, my apologies, business. The economy in this area needs stimulation. A lot of empty shops, got a lot of great people doing great things, but they haven't got enough people coming through the doors. We can adjust that, and it's a pretty simple thing to do. And the way it's really adjusted is sensible development. People need to live here. If we have more population, then there's more people spending in their local area. There's more people supporting local businesses. Local businesses then thrive. Local businesses then, if they're thriving, employ. There's more employment in the area. Our young people get jobs. Our not so young people get jobs. Then some other things flow on from that as well. We worry about crime, we talk about people on the street, we worry about homeless, whatever these other things are too as well. This all flows on. If business is employing, people have jobs. If people have jobs, firstly and most importantly, they have purpose. They have a reason to get up in the morning and they feel like they belong to something. They're not going to commit crime because they've got too much to do already. And in addition, they've got money in their pocket because they're working hard and they've got a job. Those things are important. But you can't start from the bottom. You can't continuously just patch up little bits and pieces. We need to start from the top. We need to start looking at uh, sensible development in this area. That contributes to a better community. Sensible development people moving into town or having short-term accommodation, which is fantastic as well. They get to see what we've got here to offer and they spend money in our region. Our businesses go better because of those things. Then we come down to employment. Once again, people have purpose, people have money in their pocket, which they spend in their own economy and they're also not doing the things that we don't like them to do. And in addition, our community can combine, become the place that we could be. We have a fantastic region. I love it so much. But We've got a few tweaks to do to make it better. I want a council I'm a part of not to be the no, no, no council we have at the moment. What I want to have happen is have a yes with conditions council. Bring a good idea, we'll help you with that. We'll work on it to make it a possibility. We might have to tweak it a bit, we might have to look at other options on it. If it's a good idea, let's say yes with conditions, not no, no, no. I very much hope to be a part of the council in the, uh, after the election, that's up to you. I ask for your vote. I hope that you put your trust in me to represent you in a positive manner. But there's some other things you can do before that because this is going to be a tough fight. Okay, I haven't done this before. And in addition to that, my opponent has been around a long time and knows what they're doing. If you like what I'm doing, please share my stuff on social media. If no one knows me, no one can vote for me. So that would help greatly. Then, if you could volunteer, 
put out some pamphlets, if you could talk to some people, if you'd like to wear a t-shirt of mine, if you want to sign on the front of your house representing me, or if on election day you can hand out some pamphlets, I'd be very grateful for that. That would be fantastic. And lastly, this costs money. This is not cheap to run for election. If you could make a financial uh, contribution to my campaign, I once again would be very grateful. It'll all be spent in an appropriate manner and it'll all be transparent, which is another thing that I really want to continue if I'm lucky enough to get in. So, there's a few things we can do. Let's make this place all it could be. Let's go towards a positive future. Let's make this place the best place for lifestyle and business anywhere in Queensland. Help me do it. Let's go.